so let's just talk about create async thunk in redux toolkit so this is a built-in function of the redux toolkit and it is used to handle asynchronous logic so this function will help to manage complex asynchronous workflow like here we can fetch the data from one api we can perform api calls to one api endpoint and also we can perform side effects and while doing all of this alongside this function also can automatically manage the different states so while fetching the data it can manage the loading state and also it can manage the success and the failure states so this function can dispatch three types of actions so it can dispatch the pending the fulfilled the rejected so based on the type of the promise this function can dispatch these three actions and not just this this function can automatically create action types and also the action creator for each of the phase of the asynchronous request so let's now see how we can use that function so here under this features folder we're gonna create another user feature and under that folder we're gonna create the file user slice.js now here we're gonna define all of our asynchronous logic so first of all we have to import the create slice and create async thunk from the redux toolkit so let's now define the async thunk for fetching data from the api export const fetch user and we're gonna use the create async thunk now this function takes two parameters so first parameter is the accent type so we're gonna call this user slash fetch user and as a second parameter so this will take the callback function and we're gonna make this asynchronous function now here we can fetch data from one api so const response so we're gonna fetch the data so here inside we put our api endpoint and after that once we receive the response then we return response dot json so we're gonna return the data that we receive from the api so let's now create the slice so const user slice and we're gonna use the create slice method so first of all we're gonna name this so we're gonna call this user and this will take the initial state so the state will contain the loading so the loading flag will be initially false and then we're gonna have the users so this is one array which will contain all of the users data that we receive from the api and then we're gonna have this error and this will contain the error message if there is any error now because the create async thunk function will dispatch actions based on this promise state now to handle this we have to use the extra reducer so the extra reducer will take this function and this function will take builder as a argument and then we can add multiple cases so we can write builder dot add case so if the case is fetch user pending then we're gonna run this function and the function will take the state as a parameter and here we're gonna modify state dot loading and we're gonna make the loading as true and we're gonna have the second case so builder dot add case so if the case is fetch data fulfilled so in that case the callback function will take the state and the action now here we're gonna make the loading as false and the users array will contain the data and the data will come from the action dot payload and we have another case so builder dot add case and the case is fetch user dot rejected so in the case of rejection the callback function will take the state and the action and here we're gonna make the state dot loading as false and here we're gonna set the error so state dot error and the error will contain the message that we receive from the action so action dot error dot message so we're done with defining our reducer 
so now we have to export the reducer so export const user reducer so user slice dot reducer so we have to export the reducer so that we can use that in our global store so this is the way we can use the create async thunk and also we can define the multiple cases so in the next video we're gonna make real api calls and also we're gonna render this data inside one react component so that's it for the video see you in the next one take care